Today's weeknight dinner ideas will help you get dinner on the table in about 20 minutes. Hi, I'm Laura, and on this channel, I share two videos a week with some of my family's favorite recipes. Watch this video, and if this type of content is for you, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. The first recipe is a crispy tostada topped with shredded barbecue chicken. It's a quick and easy recipe that's made with a rotisserie chicken or frozen cooked shredded chicken. I'm gonna place these tostadas on a baking sheet, but you could also use crispy taco shells or flour tortillas. In here, I shredded some rotisserie chicken, which I'm gonna mix with barbecue sauce and cheese. You wanna combine it really well, so there's cheese and sauce between each piece of that shredded chicken. I have my oven preheating too, by the way, and that's always the first thing to do before I start any recipe. Now I'm gonna take some of this barbecue chicken mixture and place it on top of my tostadas so the oven is gonna heat it up, melt the cheese, and get that tostada nice and crunchy all at the same time. Now I just place them in the preheated oven for about six to eight minutes and it's all melty and heated through. There's really not that much to assemble. Maybe top these with some sour cream and some cilantro. Check them out. Oh, and if you want me to share more easy weeknight dinner ideas, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that's what you want more of in my channel. This next recipe is hearty, delicious, and so good. I'm gonna make this chili mac in the Instant Pot real quick, but below this video, I'm gonna share the recipe and also how to make it in a regular pot too. First, let's press the saute button and brown the meat directly in the pot. You can use beef or turkey for this recipe, and you're gonna wanna saute it until it's mostly cooked. Now let's add this chopped onion and saute it with the beef for about two minutes. Now the garlic, some spices, and we're gonna stir it all to combine. Now we're gonna directly pour in our broth, the chilies, the beans, and mix it all around. And we're gonna bring this to a simmer and add our pasta. Next, I'm gonna press the cancel button to stop sauteing and add my tomato and tomato sauce right on top of the pasta, just like this. I'm gonna place the lid on the Instapot and seal the valve and cook it on high pressure for four minutes. Then when it's done, you're gonna quick release the steam and once it's all out, you can open it. It wouldn't be a mac and cheese type of recipe without some cheese. So let's add it right inside and stir it all in. Grab a bowl and check it out. Hearty, super delish, and it's the type of meal that leftovers taste great the next day, and it makes an epic thermos lunch too. And this final recipe uses my super quick meal hack, shrimp, because it cooks so fast. But if you don't like shrimp, you can use pork or chicken and dice it really small. I'm gonna serve this with rice, so I'm gonna get that going in a pot, just rice and water in there. Let's get the stir fry started by heating up a pan, adding some oil, and I'm gonna saute some chopped onions. Now that my onions are golden and really translucent, it's time to add some garlic. Toast it up like this for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna add some soy sauce, chili paste or sriracha, and we stir it. Now, as always, the measurements are gonna be in the description box below this video and a link to print out the recipe for you. Let's add some lime juice in there and bring it to a simmer. At this point, I'm gonna add the shrimp. I'm placing them all in a pan, and once they turn pink on one side, I'm gonna use kitchen tongs to flip them all over and cook the other side. This, by the way, only takes about three minutes. It's super fast. Now that my shrimp is cooked, I'm gonna take the mango and put it right in the pan. The mango is gonna heat up, release the sugar and its juices, creating the perfect sweet and sour combination of flavors that we all love from takeout. Oh, and by the way, you can use fresh or frozen mango chunks. You know, the ones that you have in the freezer for smoothies, use those. I'm gonna sprinkle some shredded coconut right over the top, totally optional here, but I love it. And I'm gonna give it a stir and turn off the heat. I'm gonna serve this stir fry right over some rice in a bowl and check it out, it's so delicious. I know you're gonna love this recipe too. Make sure to grab the details to all these dinner ideas right in the description box and I'll meet you in the kitchen next time.